What's going on, people? Giant Nomad here. Uh, this is a little different of a podcast. Um, in 24 hours, we had two mass shootings. And it happens, and it happens, and it happens. Um, I wound up rescheduling <laughs> my podcast I had today with someone. So because I really wanted to touch you know, on this. Um, it was weighing on me, just thinking about it, just talking about it, looking at Twitter. And, um, you know, I want to give a shout out to the people in Texas, El Paso, for doing that, that, that blood drive. They reacted, responded mad quick, you know, congrats to them. Um, you know, overnight, day in Ohio, you know, these guys are mad young. They're in their, their 20s, you know what I'm saying? And they're both white. They're racist. And we're not talking about that. You know, there was something on Fox News about games and stuff. Like, what the fuck games have to do with anything right now? You know, the games don't make people want to do shit. They just say, they said the same thing about rock and roll music. You know what I'm saying? They said the same thing when hip-hop was coming up. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's not about that no more. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not that. It's, you know, it's the rhetoric that people keep on spewing out. You keep on spewing out negative shit, people are going to fucking attach to it. You know, there was... um. A mom who sacrificed herself, you know, her, her baby wound up having broken bones, but she sacrificed herself to protect her baby, so her baby could survive, and the mom's got shot several times while her baby was underneath her. As You know, she used her body as a human fucking shield. The people who were affected were like from two years old to the elderly, you know what I'm saying? And um, this was a racially charged event. People who just... We're shopping. Just like before in the past, people who just went to the movies or kids who fucking just went to school. And we seem to be so fucking numb to it. We seem to just be like, yo, condolences, my prayers, blah, blah, blah. Yo, as you can see, the prayers and condolences really don't do much. They don't do shit at all, actually. And as a people, when are we going to fucking stand up for shit? Cause right now we're standing up for nothing. This is beyond just gun control. This is this is the, the turn. It's it's it's. This is beyond it. Mental health is part of it. The rhetoric that's being spewed out from fucking our own president. You know what I'm saying? And giving um, giving people voices like that 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 fucking with other people, making other people think in certain ways to do fucked up shit like this. I can't tell you enough how disgusted I am. How, you know, we continue to just allow shit like this to fucking happen. The people that got killed by just fucking shopping, doing a daily task, you know, You can't go shopping anymore? What's, what the fuck's gonna happen now? What's gonna fucking happen? You know, I don't think that people get enough spoken about them. I don't know much yet. As news keeps on coming out, I'll try to see what I can do by putting shit up on Twitter or on IG. But, um, it pisses me off. And that's why I started this fucking podcast. Then this podcast is for the people, it's for everyone, but. This podcast is for brown and black people with voices or who don't feel like they don't have a voice. Because the event was racially motivated trying to kill Hispanic people. You can't be fucking Hispanic. You can't look the part. You know, what does Hispanics look like? Because we all... Look totally fucking different. You know what I'm saying? And I gotta watch my fucking back in the streets. I gotta talk to my kids. Like, this is what white people don't understand. And it's nothing against white people. It really isn't. But you don't understand when you have to actually talk to your fucking kids about how to fucking survive out there. You gotta talk to your fucking kids about how to engage with people because another race. 
has this fucking power over you. Or there's another race that has the control. White people ain't teaching their kids how to be safe out there when they walk out the door. You fucking kidding me? Nah, man. We do that shit. We fucking tell our kids every fucking day. Having these real conversations at a very young age. Bringing up the color thing. Because we have no choice to. Because kids don't see in color. You know what I'm saying? They, they know someone's a different color, no doubt. But they're just fucking playing. They don't learn how to hate. Until they hear that shit from fucking parents or from an uncle. My my biggest concern is for those families. It's for all the families, for all the fucking years that mass shootings have been taking place. That for some reason our fucking government has yet to feel anything, to really feel some shit. I don't want to see our motherfuckers, again, prayers and condolences, sorries and whatever. That solely does not do shit. We the people have to fucking take charge. We the people gonna have to start demanding some more shit. Y'all motherfuckers haven't seen yet what happened in Puerto Rico, how the people there in our island went ahead and made some fucking change. They demanded change. They're still demanding more change. They haven't stopped protesting yet. They say enough is not enough yet. You haven't given us enough. But here in the States, in the mainland, we're like, I'm good because it hasn't directly affected me. But then when it does affect you, who's going to be there to help you out? See, we have to look at these people who fucking lost their lives by fucking shopping. We have to fucking pick up from that and do something about it. If you're in a different fucking city, fucking state doesn't fucking matter. You have to fucking do something about it. You gotta write your congressman, your senator, you gotta fucking show up at the fucking your, your city or state capitol and protest and demand that the people that of represent us and their constituents fucking finally do fucking something. We have to command and demand that shit. So they want to uprise and let's give them that. Protest, do something in your fucking city, man. If this doesn't anger you. What the fuck else is going to anger you then? A mother used her body to sacrifice herself to save her child, which every parent will fucking do. But not every parent thinks of that just by going fucking shopping. That on the way there to pick up some whatevers, I'm going to have to protect my child and give up my life. When is it going to stop? When are we going to start taking responsibility and start making changes? And, you know, and the fucking NRA bullshit. Oh, fuck them. I'm, I'm, fuck them. I got guns. I do. But this is beyond that too. There's a whole lot of shit. And that's what I'm saying is, it's more than just one thing. It's several things. We have to fucking get together in this country right now. That we're not taking care of home right now. Because we're not taking care of fucking people. We're so worried about the economy, the economy, the economy. But when I worry about how people are stressed the fuck out, when I worry about how fucking people are looking at how they may be losing power, because white people right now, they see brown and black folks coming up, they're losing their footing. They feel like, yo, like this, how can this change? White nationalists is fucking gaining ground because we're not banding together as brown and black people, man. We have to shut that shit down. They go into synagogues, to mosques, to, to fucking Christian churches and blatantly are just killing folks. And they're not categorized as domestic terrorism. Ain't that some shit? Why is that? 
Why the fuck is that? Cause they ain't brown. They ain't black. I probably said a lot of shit that motherfuckers are probably not gonna like in here. Oh fucking well. I'm not apologizing for shit. You follow me, this is what you're gonna get. Plain and simple. People don't like it, people don't like it. You know, I have white friends, I have people who are white associates, I have white bosses, and you know, they're fine. I love them to death. We work really well together, we you know, we're compassionate for one another. It's not everybody, it's not a blanket fucking statement. But we do gotta go after the folks that are fucking up this fucking country. That that think this this thing that they're fucking supposed to be an all white country. I'm not sure who's gonna but fucking really help us out being in the presidency. You got a lot of fucking candidates all over the fucking place right now. They, it's funny, you know what? Having 27 fucking candidates out there really shows a dynamic of how fucked up the country is. That's a sample size of how we fucking look. All crazy, weird, like a fucking goddamn circus with no fucking audience. And then you have the fucking ringmaster, our fucking president. Just, okay, yeah, put the flags half staff. Yes, yes, please, show respect for the, for the fucking fallen, absolutely. For the fucking dead, no doubt. But I want more. We want more than just that. We want comprehensive fucking change and order in this fucking goddamn country. You continue to ignore the shit that's going on around you. And you're going to see how hard that fucking shit hits you. Yeah, I know. It doesn't affect you directly. It hasn't yet. When will something affect you then? When will the compassion in your fucking heart come out and say, this is a fellow fucking human being? This is my fellow fucking countrymen. Just sick and tired of being sick and tired. The same old fucking fucking song and dance. We keep on saying the same shit every fucking year, several times a year. Cause once once one motherfucker does it, a copycat like that energy comes up and gives some motherfucker a quick brave heart. He ain't brave though, you know what I'm saying? But he has some fucking fucking balls to try to come up. And what the fuck? Then that's how Ohio happens in the fucking overnight. Come on, man. Killing people, with taking fucking lives is senseless, man. We're okay with it. We say it's we're okay with it because we do nothing about it. That's why nothing gets done. We are okay. I'm not gonna mention no other country, no other city. I'm talking about us here. I'm not comparing nobody to us. I'm talking about how fucked up we are right now. For not caring enough about our fucking people to stop this shit. You need to fucking stand up. You need to fucking get the fuck up and do something, man. Our voices can be heard. Our voices can make a fucking difference. Like I said, Puerto Rico is still motherfucking protesting. They got fed up. We should feel the same fucking way. Every fucking city should be fucking in an uproar right now. Demanding. Demanding. The utmost protection for our fucking citizens. For our fucking fellow countrymen. But we don't. We don't. We'll say some, some cool shit on IG. We'll say some cool shit on Twitter. We may mention it. Oh my God. 
And then guess what? Monday morning comes, we all got to go back to fucking work. You still got to fucking, you know, do your fucking job. You still got to feed your fucking kids and I get all that shit. But we got to put change out there. We got to make change out there. We got to put our best foot forward, man. We got to fucking try something because we ain't trying nothing. We ain't trying shit. And we're okay with it. We allow it. If we don't do it for those people who passed away, not just the most recent, but the people from the past, then we're fucked up. We're one fucked up generation. And all we're teaching the new generation is to be more fucked up individuals. If we show the next generation and generation after that how change can be done by the power of the people, we keep on asking our government for change, but we don't ask ourselves. We don't put ourselves in that position to say, we do have the fucking power to make the change that we fucking need to make so people can shop and not fucking die. So people could shop and not fucking die. Or go to the movies and not die. Or go to school and not die. Feel that. Smell that. Touch that. Use all your fucking senses. Because now we've become too fucking numb. If this was a fucking dog that got fucking maimed or fucking killed by somebody, ooh, man. We'd be looking for that, that person and treating them and making sure that all types of laws would be fucking goddamn change. But we don't do it for our fellow human beings, we don't do it for our fellow countrymen. This is America, right? So let's be fucking American and protest. Let's use our fucking freedom and protest and demand a change. For the better, for us. Fuck all these goddamn stupid politicians and these fucking lobbyists and these fucking goddamn big ass corporations really running shit. We gotta show them that we fucking run shit and we fucking demand shit. Like I said, some of y'all are not going to agree with me. I'm okay with that. I'm not apologizing for nothing. If you fuck with me, you know and you know who Johnny is. So what's going to get you started? What's going to fucking motivate you? Do anything you can. Start a conversation. Family. Friends. Coworkers. Start making a fucking buzz. Start using your power of social media. Twitter, IG, Facebook, whatever you use. Snap. Use it. Put it out there and start fucking demanding some fucking change to come. Because as a people, we fucking deserve it. And fuck y'all white nationalist motherfuckers. Fuck y'all. Stupid motherfuckers.